four good buds on it. Right, and it's all right with the previous year's growth. It's it's the this last. Shall I come with yeah. you? Should we all go and have a look, and then we know what we're looking for? If that's all right. And uh, um, the bit that I find easiest to do is about this sort of thickness. So one, two, three, four, and I'll allow myself two mistakes. <laughs> you can you can use that all that as well. Okay. Not that very not this very soft top. So okay. so I'd take it off without yeah. that. Right, so having got your piece, the stuff that grew this last year, in other words, don't be too efficient of your summer pruning. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave some pieces. Yeah. yeah, when I come to having them, you'll find that there are, there's the odd piece left somewhere that we can then use for grafting. Right, shall we all toddle back again then? <laughs> Some uh, old times. Yes. <laughs> some surviving, is that you? No, uh, these no, are just uh, spicy. Okay. So, to save a bloody mess, <laughs> it's a, they're cut proof gloves. Oh, okay. um, they, you know, they look like woolly gloves, but they're not. Mm -hmm. They're made mm -hmm. from Kevlar, mm -hmm. and so, uh, especially when you've got a whole class full, it saves, <laughs> should save a bloody mess, but right. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I can't guarantee it. So, I use a Stanley knife with a nice sharp blade in. And a, 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 a blunt blade is the most disastrous thing you can have. Uh -huh because you start pushing. So we have the bud on the back. I don't, do you want to come around here so you can possibly see better? So, bud on the back, I'm going to use that distance. I'm doing whip and tongue grafting. So what I need to do is whittle that down so that, it's got a hump on it there. And this is what takes the practice. Getting a knife that's got a curve on it. So it wants to be completely Absolutely flat. Absolutely flat from yeah. nothing there to nothing there. Right. Mm. All right, can you see, ladies? Mm. So it's very easy to get it very spoon shaped and it doesn't work. <laughs> right. Okay. You did that in no time, didn't you? Just like a couple of cuts, just. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of people. Uh, just do it in one. One, one you, size. Yeah, yeah. You've got a really nice sharp knife after the measurements. Well, this possible. is, yes, it makes it possible. So the next thing is about a third of the way from the top, put your knife on. We're going to do the tongue. So, and this is where your glove can come in very useful. I'm not pushing, I'm just wiggling the knife. So again, you see, so I'm going to go. So I'm about a third of the way oh. down. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, little one. You coming to help us? <laughs> so, a third of the way from the top, your tongue is over a third, and then there's a third left. Now, uh, we've got a root stock there. Hopefully, it's a similar diameter to this. Thanks. Not quite, no. So, we want to have our graft about nine inches above the soil level and a hand spans are very useful. So I'm going to, and uh, what I suggest you do is pop these tops in because with M it's MM106, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It roots quite easily. So Great. shove those in as hardwood cutting. Right. Now what I need to do is exactly the same on this. Because this is then the mirror image. Because, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. So I want to do exactly the same. So starting about there, I'll just pop that down where I do it. And is it important to have that bud there? Yes. Yeah. It that is supposed. I don't know how true it is. Mm -hmm. 
so that's supposed to produce the uh, hormones to encourage the um, callus formation. Right. So exactly the same, about a third of the way from the top, put the knife on, rock it, Now, the two layers we want to join, if you've got your camera, mm -hmm. it's this thin green line that we want to jo uh, need to join. So these, that's why, sorry, have you got it? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Can you see? This mm -hmm. has got to join with that. And that's where the, can you see? If not, shout, please. Right, the next thing is to actually... Was it a cambium layer or something? Correct. Like okay. Very good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've spent, home, okay. I've spent, yeah, I've spent yeah. too many years school teaching. <laughs> so we then push them together. Wow. Pass it round. So we okay having a little bit? Yes, exposed. that often that helps because it often calluses over right. the base. Right. So you want a little bit? I Just a little <laughs> bit. Yes. Right. Yeah. Is there like a bud on the rootstock that you? Yes, there is on the back well. exactly the same. same thing, yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's really important, the bud on board. It's supposed to be. I don't know genuinely if it is, but that's what they say. Okay. And so <laughs> that's what you practice for. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Um. You make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what people usually say. And that's yeah. why I send you away with a piece like that. Yeah. To get whittling about sort of that distance and then try to join it. Uh, cut it. Cut a piece of scrap wood. Yeah, Something big. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 So the next thing you need is a piece of grafting tape, mm. which sense. is act it's a, a slightly stretchy plastic tape. Um, I do not want to go back to having to do rat to do wet raffia, wrap it round, and tie it because you know right. when it dries it shrinks. Oh. What's yeah. that? Like some sort of material. This is a plastic tape. Yeah. Um, the old, old supermarket uh, carrier bags you used to be able to. Right. But this is tape that we actually buy. Sure, sure. Does it, right. dissolve? Does it dissolve? No, it we'll doesn't. Hold on to that. Yes, of course. So when you hold it up to the light, you shouldn't see much daylight between the two. Are they together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a tiny <laughs> little bit of the top. Right, that okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not, that's fine. Not even a millimetre. Oh, that, that, yes, a that's it. Yeah, that will then uh, disappear because yeah, yeah. what to do I'm is a piece of tight tape over. Then you pull these tightly together. Yeah. There's no adhesive on No adhesive, no. I like this tape because you can pull it really tightly. Mm. You can get those two layers tightly together. And I guess it also keeps it warm. That really doesn't matter. The main thing is, oh no, that's what I've not brought. Um, so some people paint over it, don't they? We then normally wax the sign because that's the bit that loses moisture. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't got wax in a, at the minute, but so we then usually have one, two, three buds showing. So I didn't need me extras. So then, uh, oh dear, oh dear, I cut it off there. Now, have I or have I not got it in here? Uh, we need some oil or I, I often have some Vaseline with me. I've and got some three in one, I don't know. No, I don't know. think so. <laughs> I'll go and look in the car, see if I've got some Vaseline, because I then Vaseline over mm. and hopefully so would you leave that top just completely open or? No, the whole, the, all there, anywhere that you like, you see all the lens cells there will lose your moisture. So, so including um, these, these Over, uh, yeah, I'll go and get, I'm pretty sure I'll have to Vaseline. Can, you, just, can you do it with wax? Could you just dip all of that in wax? Yes, that's what you normally do oh, okay, with this grafting okay. wax. Okay. You need a soft wax yeah. so the buds can, it should be oh, nice so and firm. Nice. When, when, I, when we're practicing, I usually mm -hmm. pass it around for people to try and pull apart. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. isn't, it shouldn't be easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah. I'll go and uh, see if I've got some Vaseline. We Vaseline it and then you pot it on. Mm. So uh, Malice for apple and uh, Pyrrhus or quince. quince. You can get quince and pear on the same. So all I've done is I've put a bit of Vaseline on my... So all you're doing is just blocking up the, the lenticels on the... Yeah. 
Is that instead? Is that instead that's instead of wax? Of wax. Right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. It, wor it works very satisfactorily. Right. Is that just as good sort of thing? Yeah, it's much easier. You have to keep putting it on. Or no, that's it. Right. And have enough. you have you put enough? it over the tape as well on the no, base? No, no. Just the top bit. It's, uh, you see here, it's a plastic tape, so right. no moisture is going to mm. escape. Okay. So, well, you can actually see how it's gone shiny. Right. 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 And no. is that enough until it's uh, taken that's, root sort of thing? That's fine, yeah. that's it. Yeah. So, so it's none, it on. none on the base? None on there, no. How, how essential is it to, eat, to even take that step? Is there a chance that it'll still take pretty well without...? It depends whether, you, whether it's going to be there like that for long or whether it's going to callous over quickly. Right. Uh, okay. Later on in about sort of mid-March they callous over much faster uh -huh. and you can often get away with it. I follow you. I okay. Yeah, that's so, would it, is it better to graft a bit later then? Well, no, your sand's got to be completely dormant. Oh, your right, root okay. stocks just have the sap risings. I don't know if you noticed. Hmm. It's quite moist at the, when I chopped it yeah. off. Yeah. So, so, your sand's got to be dormant. So totally it's, dormant, yeah. yes. So, it's got to be in winter then? It's winter, yes. Yeah. So, now's the cut off. Now's the, now, it, well, it went through to weeks. about the middle of March, oh, I right. usually go. Oh, yeah, right. But my sand's already cutting in the fridge. Oh, you put them in the fridge. Right. Is that a good way to keep them then? It's a quick and easy way yeah. to keep them. The traditional way was in a, a bucket of sand on a nor north facing wall. Oh, I can do a, that. Yes. I've not got a fridge, so I might have no, to do that. No, that's fine. <laughs> no, no, I'd say you yeah. need to cut them now though, because right. certainly the plums are beginning to move. I'll get my mm -hmm. stuff cut and just uh, how deep in the sand? Like just... Oh, just right in, oh, so right the in. whole thing's right, okay. yeah. not going to lose yeah. moisture. Oh, yeah, right, okay, yeah, yeah. Wet sand, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm damp sand you know not not too wet mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you can pop that one up now and hopefully yeah <laughs> so just like a, a big tub that drains of sand will be all right won't it? well you only need your a sharp sand about yeah. that yes i mean just a like pot like pot like that will do because yeah? your science can root can't they uh on, only if there well, wasn't owners around. of pictures uh they are the, those are the trees that do root easily pictures they're so called pictures yes right. I've, I've, I've noticed with the fig cutting. Oh, yes, cut it, yes, uh, yes. Figs do go, yes, go well, well, yes. But uh, yeah. I say the um, the variety of apple used as this particular rootstock, that also roots very well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I say yeah. keep your tops and yeah. line them out. <laughs> Good one. What, what, uh, what trees would they grow into if you just it is, the trees? It's an uh, apple. Small, uh, it, just some kind of... That particular one produces apples about that size, yellow with a red flush on. Yeah. <laughs> Quite bitter though. Oh, yeah. That's the downside. Um, some people like to <laughs> like to grow them for a, quite a bitter juice, or the people like make cider quite like them. So. <laughs> that explains it. Yeah, yeah. So do they use certain kind of apples um, that have got a good root? Is that why they're using them? It, it's because of the properties of the root and the properties of the size tree. Right. They're sort of yeah. They they're trees, but not monster trees. Yeah, yeah. Not so you know, it's it's a good root system. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you know about the train forms. You know the yeah, the yeah, spaliers yeah, and yeah. the step overs yeah, and yeah. yeah. You can use that root stock for all those as oh, well. Yeah, right, mm. right. So yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And is there a difference between the dwarfing varieties? Would you use a different root stock for dwarfing varieties? For, yes, I mean the. Um, I, I do the M27, which is one foot. It's it's flogged at great expense in the garden centre for patio trees, in other words, yeah. in a pot. Yeah. But I find it's quite useful for growing in the ground, as a because they, the tree itself naturally only grows to about six foot. Mm. So, round another allotment plot, <laughs> not this one. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, these as upright cordons, so they're about that high and about that wide. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'll look into M27 next time. I think, yeah. Yes, it tends to be slightly more expensive rootstock, but yeah. again, you yeah. know. I mean, if you join the group, you'll get all I, the information. I did one year. Did um, you? Oh. Pat told me, you know, Pat, um, Pat from. Oh, things. from, yes. Yeah, I didn't get around to any of the demonstrations. I just put oh. the pamphlets, but I think right. I need to join again. Well, That's again, you, you know, you know, because we need to put our order in about August. It always seems silly. Yeah. 
you know, you're not thinking about grafting trees or, at that That's time. Why I kept missing it, I think. Yes, no. You, yeah. You've got. We, if the earlier we do it, the better the rootstock we get. And also, if you actually want any trees, at, trees at cheap prices, again, you need to order them then, so we can actually, because. Uh, it's wholesale, and so of course all the garden centres have their regular order, mm. yeah. and we get we have to get the few mm. sort of leftover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it is worth it. Oh yeah. So yeah. when you when you're making rootstock, what? How do you go about getting the seeds? Do you, do you get the root stock well, they, going from seeds from they, the fruits? Yeah, they, they do different crosses, line them out, yeah. and that's why they have all these funny numbers because they were the numbers in the ah. lined out line. Mm -hmm. So you're looking for either a tall tree with good roots, or here we've got a medium sized tree with good roots. The commercial one, the M9, has very brittle roots. Um, the M27 comes is as I say, small, but it also has quite good roots. Uh, it does need snaking for its life, but it comes into fruit very early. It's often flowering, grafted this year, it's often flowering this time next right. year. Right. So does the root stock control when the, the top of it flowers? Yes. Wow. I didn't it's, the root that. stock yeah. controls the flowering yeah. time and the sort of weight of fruit as well as wow. the tree size. Yeah. It controls the whole. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The taste as well as fruit taste. Doesn't seem to, no. I ha we have yeah. at various times grown the same variety on, in fact I've got a, a set on there, same variety on all sorts of different root stocks. So, uh, in a, probably a couple of years time, because some of these are the bigger rootstocks that take a long time to come into fruit. Uh, you can check it out, come and check it out with me. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is important when you're grafting that your hands are warm. Because mm -hmm. cold hands and knives, along with blunt knives, uh, <laughs> pretty disaster. So should, we, should we bring knives with us? If, we can if, you, if you do sharp, have a Sunday knife, knife with yeah, a yeah, new blade yeah, in, yeah, yeah. yes, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. So I do have quite a number, yeah. so you know, yeah. I tend to have enough to do a group of ten. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, the only accidents I've had to date is where somebody managed to poke the point of a, a Stanley knife through, and there was somebody who had the knife and the gloves in the same hand. <laughs> yes. Yes. Been cold. And of course, you know, with a glove on, the knife <laughs> slips. And <laughs> so would you say that if that's sharp enough, that would be suitable? If you can make it really sharp. Yeah. I mean, uh, mm. mine's a budding knife. Mm. But uh, mm. you actually use a budding knife a different way and it's much more complicated. Oh, right. It oh. isn't as easy to do, so I tend Use Stanley knife. To use the Stanley knife, which is really sharp. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This is mine, which is a budding knife because it's got oh, an extra bit on oh, the back. Yeah. It's similar to yours. Yeah, yeah same, so same, same make. Same make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 the knives that everybody <laughs> <laughs> in this lark carries. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, you, you. Stanley knife does the job. A Stanley knife does the job. You can get them really sharp. Sharpening a knife is a an art that, uh, well going back to when I did my um, biology, we used to have to strop our own razors to cut our sections, so. Um, yeah, skills that are missing these days. Yes. Yeah, sharpening, yeah. Sharpening. yeah exactly, you yes. It's yeah. Like just, it's it's, it's you've got to do it and know how to do it and do it and do yeah. it. My yeah. school would send the scissors and knives off Yes. To a firm to have them sharpened Sharp. to bring back, back. for us yeah. to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than you guys are wearing hats. Didn't even know they had to be sharpened when I was younger. Oh, no, was exactly. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so, do, so do you get an oiling stone? You, you start on an oil, oil stone, stone yeah. then you go on to a strop. Uh, yeah. so. so I tend to have my axe stone. Oh, it. good for you, yes. Well, it's handy because it's yes. pocket size. Ah. Yes. It's two different grades on Oh, is that yes. your oiling stone? Yeah, Part of all, Yeah. Mm. Lovely, mm. yeah. Nice. So what you do, you just you have to put a bit of oil on it, then and then you just can like... use it with water with this one. Oh, yeah, of course yes. you can. Yeah, of course you can. So mm. it's, it's really handy. Yes, nice. I've got a tiny little one that I carry around. Well, this one, it's just yeah. Yes. It's, it's a nice size. And no, it's a good. Very useful. Right. People are not listening as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because yeah. it is a teaching garden. Yeah. You know, that's my objective is Brilliant. to Brilliant. is yeah. to teach mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. other people know how to do it. Yeah, and, no, and good, yeah, yeah. of course up on the Chevin we've got all the kit for juicing, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like an apple yeah. press. Uh, we've got the mill and the press, yes. yes. So we, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're it's quite well equipped, all, to, all told. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. I say it'd be great to see you all another time, yeah. but I say we can go at the, you know, in the main building mm. there. So, uh, you know, we don't have to rely on decent weather because it is important that you're warm and your hands are warm. Oh, 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 oh,